This is San Cristobal, the birthplace of the current wave of protest against Venezuelan President Nicolás Maduro. It all started here a little more than a month ago, and now the city is packed with barricades, such as this. According to the local mayor, there are more than 100 roadblocks all over the city, and as you can see, anything that can be used is being used to protest against food shortages, insecurity, and to demand a change of government. There are rocks, logs, assorted rubbish, old appliances, anything they can put their hands on. There's even an old armored tank a few blocks from here. This tank used to be part of an old monument, but it now has become a symbol of the protests. And over there, there is a guarimba, a makeshift camp, from where students and other protesters try to protect the barricades after clashing with government supporters or the security forces when they try to clean the streets. They say they're just fighting for a better Venezuela, but the government claims they're terrorists trying to topple a democratically elected government. In San Cristobal, Venezuela, Arturo Wallace, BBC News.